I've been playing around with this for a little bit, and I think I figured out a good way to have it set up that so it works for the way this shape is set up, which is kind of a weird shape. And let's kind of keep saying kind of. Let's edit this a little bit and let's get rid of these pieces because we don't need them. So let's take those out, let's grab that, and delete. Delete faces. Okay, so I also want to straighten this up. Just this. And S, uh, scale, Y, hold down control, till zero. Now that's going to be straight. That's excellent. And let's move this down directly. And let's kind of move this stuff up a little bit. We want to give a little bit of room for our helmet to live underneath this flap and we're going to have to give enough room for a visor to be able to swing out. Okay. So, you know how on uh, regular astronauts the sun visor will slide out from the top? What I'm thinking is that we have a one that's split in the center, so bifurcated. And we're going to have two pieces swing out from the side. Because otherwise, I don't really see it fitting in there or being able to really rotate too well. So, let's work on this little part first. Uh, let's extrude. Pull back. Pull up. Uh, actually, let's not pull back. Let's just pull up. And pull out to the sides a little bit. And... Yeah, we do need to pull back, but first we're going to deselect the parts that we don't want to pull back and select the ones that we do. Uh, we don't want the whole loop, so let's just hit Control, right click, Control, right click, and that should give us what we want. Let's pull this bit back. Oh, not this piece. Let's pull this bit back and give it a little bit of thickness. All right. Okay. So what I now want to do is select the edges on the periphery. And we're going to hit Shift E because we want to tighten that up. And actually in the back here, we're not going to have these selected because that makes for a weird looking shape. And Shift E, bring that down. Kind of back a bit. So now we're getting kind of a shape that we want, which is nice. And I'm going to rotate this, shift E, pull this out. And we also want the bottom as well to match this, shift E. And got to kind of pull this stuff down. Let it intersects with our ring here, our sweet, sweet, poofy ring thing, and we're actually going to scale the ring up because um, we need to have room for pieces, parts to go in there, and it makes it look a little kind of cooler. All right, uh, but we got to also make sure to keep in mind that we have to intersect the suit collar as well and okay that's looking pretty good let's add in the front visor aspect okay so let's grab this let us also so we're gonna have to do some surgery to this so we're gonna grab these polygons these polygons these ones er why am I misclicking so much? All right. So I'm going to duplicate these. I'm going to separate them. We're going to put them over here. And now what we're going to do to make this uh, fit with this and over this without intersecting through here visibly, we're going to actually add some edge loop right here. Boop. Actually, let's add it even closer. 
Uh, so about there. So it's hidden. And now what we're going to do is select this. And we're not going to select. Let's just make sure that we're selecting this one so we don't see that orange in the background. I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, we're going to take this point and pull it back. Whoop. Pull it up a little bit. And let's just go and delete these verts. Okay. Now our shape. Sh oh, I accidentally undid the uh, the cut. Okay. Around here, and then let's now let's cut and I'm gonna shift click select them and now I can't see what's going on down there there we go there's the last one delete verts cool all right so things we need to do poke these ones in a little bit Boop. poke this one back a little bit actually no just in it's fine okay select all extrude and scale so we have a little poofy bit and now let's push this whole setup back okay push this whole setup back Whoop. just make sure that it doesn't intersect and this is having a problem so let's kind of pull this out Okay, come on. Now let's select the right pieces. Pull this out a little bit. So now we have this aspect. That's the shield. Okay. So so we can see this better. What we're going to do is we're going to change this, or we're going to add another material. Boop. And actually, no, we don't need it. We can add a material. We're going to. Go back into object mode, remove visor, and we're going to add a material called kind of this thing so we can see more what we're doing. And what that means is we have to fix this part a little bit. Whoa, that's kind of doing weird stuff. Let's uh, flip all normals out. Let's check to see what's going on. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, so that's fixed. That's good. Awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to actually set this up a little bit later, but we now have a kind of working space helmet. I would say only a couple more details, and then we're done with it, and then we can move on to the rest of the body. Um, let's see here. Okay, cool. All right, and so in our next lesson, we will actually move on from our helmet and start detailing other aspects of the body. First things first, what I want to do is I want to start separating shapes. So I'm going to right click on our body and I want to separate the things that I'm going to be using. So right here there's going to be a little cuff and these little space bracelets. I'm going to try, I'm going to start out with three, see how that looks and then if it looks good go more but I don't know if it's going to. Uh, so now I'm going to hit Shift D and then P to separate. And now we have it in our own selection. Let's also switch to Edge Mode. So Control Tab, Alt, right click, and then Shift E to crease. And let's scale it in. Extrude, scale it out. Okay, so now we have this little cufflink, well, not not cufflink thing at all. It's uh, more of a little cuff on our space gloves. And let's uh, control N to flip our normals outside. And that's that's looking pretty cool. Um, that's just a little extra little doohickey on here. And let's actually change the color around. Let's change this to a. So we have cloth. We have rubber. Let's make a white plastic. So, add a new material. Uh, w underscore plastic. 
and let us assign this. So let's go into edit mode and assign. Okay, and let's make sure that we are in, we flipped our normals, let's turn our thing up, let's bump it up to white as white can be. It's looking a little blue, but that's fine. Okay, so that is step one. Let's start creating little hooks around the shoulders. And to do that, let us first, actually, so I want to create these little indents right here. And it's looking like this strip of polygons will actually let me do that. So I'm going to extrude, and I'm going to poof it out a little bit. So we have a little bit of extra depth to our spacesuit. And I want to pull this ring back. And I'm going to shift E to add a crease. And down here, shift E to add a crease. So we have like this kind of little straps going around our, our character, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, and I want to eliminate this rubber underneath so it looks like a plate and to do that all we have to do is just select the pieces that were touching that which became rubber and switch it back to cloth okay so that is step one and we actually let's also create a little uh push out here too so we can uh can we now okay so let's uh actually kind of Select the front and back plates, and let's do it one at a time. Extrude, pull out a little bit, and this is not looking very well, but I just need to start doing some magic with the creasings, and... No, that is not looking good at all. Oh, there we go. Ha-ha! Great. And we can pull this up. Pull this back. Actually undo that. Let's pull this down. And we can kind of use this to give them kind of like a chest area. Or her. I don't really know what gender these crazy alien creatures that we've just made are. Um... All right, and let us get rid of this bottom plate. So control tab, switch here, assign cloth. Okay, so that is one plate. And let's actually kind of, we can do a hit W and then smooth, kind of smooth it out a little bit. It, it relaxes the polygons. And we still got quads. Let's pull this in a little bit. Let's kind of work this shape until it looks a little bit better. Okay. Gonna kind of do this. Okay. So let's give a little bit of a lip to the back by doing a similar process. Extrude. Pull this out. And let's get started down here. For some, oh, <laughs> I had vertex mode set up, so shift E, shift E, and this one in here, if I can actually click on it, shift E, shift E, okay, bring this down a little bit, okie dokie. This little corner piece, shift E, okay, and control tab, phases, select, assign cloth, okay, um, and it's a little stressed right there, so I kind of want to smooth it out a little bit. Oh, that is necessary to keep that shape good, 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 good. This is still stressed. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. So we have our top plate done. We have our little shoulder pieces. We have our burgeoning little elbow protectors. Um, let's actually give them a little bit more shape because I think that would look cool. Let's um, actually add in a extra little pad back here, like you would see in a elbow protector. Kind of scale that up a little bit. And now here's our option. Do we extrude this out or do we just kind of pull it? Yeah, let's extrude. Uh, let's see what the pull. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like this shape. Okay, let's do that. Cool. So we have this little little chunk here. That's good. And let's make sure that everything is facing outside. Good. Uh, so that was a flip normals. And okay. Okie dokie. So let's see where we're at with our concept. Okay. Um, I want to add in another loop here. And it's actually kind of shrink this size. Sign cloth to it. Okay. And so what I want to, what, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get the shape of the body to where I want it before doing some extra details. I want to add little ridges in the rubber areas. Um, but I want to get everything done to the point where I want it to be before uh, getting to that point because it's it'll make it a lot harder to manipulate the object afterwards. Okay. Uh, in our next lesson, we're going to continue moving further down the torso. And, Cheryl, all good spacesuits have weird valves in the front for hoses to get oxygen and other materials around. So let's add some of our own. So shift S, cursor to center, Beep. and that brings us to the crotch of our alien. Let's add in a cylinder, and 32 vertices is fine. We're not doing games or anything fun like that. Oh, I mean, games are awesome, and so is basically everything else. Uh, as long as you're modeling, you're having fun. Okay, let's pull this thing out. Let's also make sure that we have... Yeah, this is fine for now. Okay, so normally I'd say, oh, we should totally make this a triangle fan, but we don't need to right now. Um, okay. So what I want to do now is extrude this out. Scale it in. Extrude, scale in a little bit to make a little kind of, like, thing. Um... Basically, I've seen this on spacesuits in our reality, and I just want to mimic it. So let's uh, kind of hit Z, extrude, pull in. So now we have this weird cuppy shape for our awesome spacesuit. Actually, let's uh, let's pull this out a little bit more so we have some room to embed this into our, our suit up here. And, okay, they also usually have these little hook hook thingies, probably for hooking up the hoses without everything exploding off into space. And what that comprises of is another cylinder. So, what we can do is we can take this cylinder and kind of shift D to copy it. And you know what? Now I'm going to turn it into a triangle fan. So, uh, and I'm going to do that with this one too. Delete faces. Select, extrude, merge, at center. Okay, now we've got a fancy triangle fan. Um, extrude, scale. Ooh, that's weird. That is really weird. Extrude, scale, group. Uh, merge, W, merge, at center. And now let us remove doubles. Boop. Remove zero vertices. What's going on here? All right. Do we have a, yep, we have a extra face here for some unknown reason. Um, <laughs> so let's <laughs> select this, scale it down a little bit so it looks more like one of those little knobby things. And we're going to make a very similar shape. 
So scale this out, pull this back, um, and then scale this back again. So if you have long-term memory, well, no, if you have short-term memory, then you'll know that we just basically made this shape twice. And let's scale it down a little bit more. And let us rotate it 90 degrees. Move this over here. Going to kind of jam it in over here. Approximately there. That That's looking okay. Let's uh pull it up front a little bit more. Maybe scale it down a little bit. So it looks like a little hooky thing. And rotate this one 180 degrees. Hold down control, drag it over here. So it's approximately over here in the same similar spot. Okay. And now what we need to do is, oh boy, this looks suggestive. Uh, let's create some more materials for it. So new material. Uh, let's call it uh plas uh no no R plastic so red plastic and another one called silver metal okay so actually no let's call it brass because I like the idea of having something kind of like the visor be uh show up in multiple places in the spacesuit so similar colors uh, okay let's just kind of do this for now plastic let's kind of turn it to max maximum white and uh now let's start assigning things so select all select all assign uh just gonna right click these control right click and control l to select connected and now I'm going to assign brass. Okay, so we have this little R plastic, which actually not maximum white. We're going to change it to reddish, kind of that color. That's fine. It's like a crazy fire hydrant. And now I'll just move this up here, kind of in this position, scale it down. Rotate this and just mash it in there. Yeah. Okay, so let's kind of put this in. Let's kind of attempt to uh, align it with the surface normal. Actually, let's uh, duplicate it first because we're going to have four of these, actually. Yeah, four of them. And now I'm going to align it a little bit. So pump this up here. Kind of put this here. And I'm going to push it over to the side a little bit. Grab this, Shift-D, pull it over here, pull this even further over. And now what I want to do is change up the materials a little bit. We'll actually go back and make sure that all the materials are the same. But actually, no, let's let's keep it all our plastic for now until we start working on the materials. And so that's a little, little thing we got going. Um, okay. And actually, what I want to do is let's go up here and let's add another material to our list. And let's call it uh, brass. No, no. Uh, whoops, we already have it. So let's use brass. Or actually a, a white metal. Let's do a, a white metal of some kind. That'd be cool. So white metal. Uh, so we can have different colored shiny bits. And I think shiny bits are pretty good on projects. So I'm going to make our little connecty bits here, shiny bits, and all I have to do is assign white metal to them. And let's turn up the intensity. Let's turn up this color so we can tell the difference between our cloth and our white metal. Let's actually make this red because I want to have more colors in different places accentuating each other by existing by their mere existence they complement each other and make each other look awesome okay let's 
Let me just make sure. Okay, good. And let us add red plastic a sign. Okay. So now we've got our little spacesuit. Oh, no. This one has not converted over. And this needs to turn into red plastic. Check it out a little bit. Some more. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, as we continue onwards, we're going to now add, let's see what we're going to add, a little kind of hippie bit right here, like a little floaty plastic chunk there. And what I want to do is I want to maybe reverse this so it's the rubber area and add in little uh, indentations to show that it kind of wobbles a little bit. All right, so in our next lesson we will be working on the kind of hippie area which is cool and stuff and i'll see you next the legs okay so we have in our concept art uh, our wonderful concept art which we keep referring to uh we have this little chunk here this little hula hoop let's make that yeah that sounds good let's make that little hula hoop thing okay uh, so let's turn this back to back and let's, let's even just turn it off. Okay. Easiest way to make the hula hoop, just like in other versions, we're going to alt right click and shift D, uh, and P separate by selection. And let's go back to our hula hoop. So let us quickly do this. So let's extrude, pull this out, uh, scale in the y direction, we're giving our hula hoop some space belt properties, and actually let's uh, kind of select the inner ones and pull it in, scale on the y, so it's, it's kind of sort of connected, I'm, I'm okay with it just being like a little floaty bit. I guess, and let's turn our background image back on. Let's see what this looks like. So it it goes in a U shape this way, which I think kind of looks cool compositionally. So it's pointing back up, and let's start doing that. So, and to start doing that, let's kind of scale these ones up. S Z, pull that up, pull that down, make it a little dumpy. Let's control R over here. Pull those out. Let's add an uh, yeah. Let's let's have it connect around this size here. That's good. So let's work on the U shape here by grabbing our. It is so annoying to grab things in subdivision mode. Let's pull that one in. Okay, and the center piece as well. Okay, so that's sticking out a little bit. I don't want it to stick out. I want it to be flat. Okay, and we should do something similar with the backside because it can never go wrong. So let's do this. All right, and let's pull this one up. Pull this one up. And let's actually just start playing with the verts themselves let's pull this up so we need to be able to give him enough room to use his bootniks which is a technical term for butt and okay so let's change the color on this this will be where is our white plastic white plastic okay so now we can see this little little edge in here of rubber and we can see the rubber here. We can on. So it'll it'll look a little bit more interesting and layered, which is good, so that we can kind of see what's going on. All right. So the main crotchal region is pretty much good. So let's create a plate here to go with the hip, like we have here at that joint. Um, okay. 
Yeah, let's also flatten this up a little bit. Whoop. And let's give it a harder edge. So select the edge is up top. Shift E. Kind of tighten it up a little bit. Let's do it up bottom too. And where is the inside? Oh boy. Oh, this is going to end up being fun. So shift E. Kind of pull that out. And now what we need to do is reconfigure this a bit. Kind of pull this out. And let's pull this one down. Or back up a little bit and just kind of massage it back into place. Move these points. Whoop. Whoop. And let's check the bootniks area. That's looking good. Uh, let's kind of straighten this out. Okay. And let's actually scale Z or Z. Let's call it Z for now. Uh, down to zero. So now it's a flat ring around the body. And I like how the front is. I don't like how this back is kind of dumpy. And to fix that, let's kind of Play with this a little bit. Okay. And pull this out. Round up the butt a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's looking a little bit better. Um, this is still a little chunky. Pull this, pull this, gonna kind of let it stretch into place a little bit. Okay, so we've got our little plate here, that's good, awesome, and yeah, let's kind of pull this one out, pull this back aspect out and up in a little bit, so we can kind of see what's going on there, and Obviously, in the back, we're going to have to do the opposite. So, uh, let's deselect these. So, C. Oh, no, that is E. I mashed the wrong button. Okay. Shift C. Uh, okay. C. Middle mouse click. Okay. And let's pull these back here to thin this area out a little bit. And this little side area, let's kind of... Put it in its own universe. Okay. So we're getting kind of like a little hourglassy figure there, which is good. And uh, kind of a dumpy shape for the thighs, which is what I want. And let's start working on the thighs. Okay. So let's grab this piece, this piece, this piece. And let's check out the background for a second. Actually, let's move to this channel. So I've got this kind of like sharp shape here, cutting into the crotch and then above the knee. So let's get that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. So there's the cut. There it goes right above the knee right here. Actually, let's grab that, too. So, Shift-D to duplicate. P to separate. And... Okay. So, because it is very close to time, we will be working on this part in the next section. Alright, see you next time. A little bit more work on this, because I want the silhouette to really pop. And by that, I mean just going to pull this out a little bit more, so we can see that this little belt thingy juts out of the character and I want to tighten this up a little bit so I'm going to bring this in bring this in and I want to bring these points down to really drive that whole shape together okay cool excellent we are done messing with that check out the legs the thighs okay so, this part is going to be a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to scale this out. Whoop. 
I'm going to... Okay. This is the interesting part. Let's actually kind of cut a little bit back on this so we have little sections that we can actually deal with in there. And scale everything. Or extrude. Scale in with a shift Z so it scales on every axis but Z. Select up. Control N. Okay. So now we have this little plate section. That's good. That's good. And let's grab the top set of rings and let's shift E to crease it up a little bit. Uh, I just want the rings. I don't want Okay. Boop, boop. Shift E. Okay. Tighten that up. Crease one. Yes. Now let's do that again down here at the bottom. So the bottom, we're going to have to do a little bit of reworking this shape. But that's okay. We're awesome. Shift E. Crease. Okay. Um, And to do that, what we need to do is, both on the front and back side, kind of give a little U-shape up because of the way, well, armor has to be set up in order for you to be able to move your leg. <laughs> so O for proportional editing. Kind of pull this up. Oh, that's like pulling up, pe just peeling it back. Pull it up. And let's kind of scale it. A little bit, scale it a little bit. Okay, so now what we want to do is kind of repair the area too. And we're going to turn proportional lighting off. We're going to pull this out a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing in the front. Whoop. So we're going to give it the volume back. Um, okay. That's looking kind of good. Let's let's actually give it a little bit more in the front because this is where our knee setup is going to be. And let's just kind of pull this out. Okay. And let's actually pull it back up a little bit more in the back because I would like there to be lots of room for the back of the leg to swing. Let's pull this up. Uh, let's even turn on proportional editing. Just a little bit. Okay. So we have this little cuppy shape. And let's actually just kind of pull this back a little bit. Okay. Give it some more thickness. And we got to fight, fight the good fight over here too. So pull this out. Okay. Okay. So we have these little plates here. That's good. Let's now work on how do we want to how do we want the shins to work? Okay. So we can keep those plates and then we're gonna have our little bell bottoms splay out a little bit more. So let's just go down here and kinda whoop pull that and just scale it out, turn proportional editing off a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's going to be a little bit harder. So we're just going to select a bunch of stuff. Turn proportional editing off. Uh, let's do shift Z. So we can just kind of pull that out in total. Let's pull this in. Pull this in. Pull this in a little bit. Trying to make our little taper. And I do want a little bit of thickness up top. Okay. Ooh, that's looking good. All right. I would, yeah. That is looking good. Cool. Okay. Can taper it out a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Um let's add in a little knee pad kind of thing. And then I think we might be getting close to done with our legs. Let's see what it looks like with everything on. Okay. Yeah, let's add the knees in. Okay. So, what we need to do is... Uh, let's let's create a new shape. So, cursor to center. Mesh plane. 
drag this out, drag this out like this, rotate it 90 degrees. What I want to do is subdivide and I, uh, scale Z. Okay, and let's kind of drag this out. Let's add a new modifier, mirror. And let's kind of put it in place over here. Pull it out a little bit so it lines up with the knee. Pull it back. Scale it out. Scale it in. Scale it in. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's also subdivide it. Subdivision surface. Okay. And smooth this whole thing. Okay. And I think we also have to scale it on the Z. Pull it back up. Okay. And let's just kind of mash it in there. There we go. Okay. So that is good to go. Our knees are good. Um, actually, we should pull it down. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. So we can see the little plate. I want this angle to be a little bit more sharp. Let's click on it. Uh, let's kind of select this point. Let's see. And, oh, proportional editing. Oh, actually, yeah, no. Okay. So, oh, scale it out. We're going to pull this down. We're going to grab this one. We're going to pull it up. We're going to pull it out a little bit. So it's very clear that it's a extraneous piece of plate. It's kind of, uh, yeah, proportional editing, scale in. Kind of pull this thing out. Pull this thing out. Okay. Now we've fattened up our little piece of plate. Let's actually give it a little bit of girth in the bootniks. And I guess in the front, the, the front nicks as well. Uh, okay. So that is looking pretty good. Okay. So in our next lesson, we will be working on the booties. And then, not the bootnicks, but the booties. These things. Uh, and then we will be working on detailing the rubber bits and moving forward with our production.